Hello everyone, welcome to the video on NIPER 2020 paper analysis. In this video, I am going to explain the questions that have come from biochemistry, especially the concepts which are tested in amino acid chapter. There were around 22 questions have come from biochemistry and out of which 8 to 9 questions are from amino acid chapter. We will see the questions in this video. This is my YouTube channel. You just type in my name, G. Sahirajesh, in YouTube. You will get the channel. I have more than 2,000 subscribers and more than 130 videos related to pharma concepts. Recently, my channel has crossed 50,000 views. Let us get into the class. Now, the first question. An essential amino acid is one that. Now, see this essential amino acid. Similar to essential amino acids, we have essential fatty acids are also there. Now, the moment you see essential, it indicates a particular meaning. Now, human body has got 20 amino acids. Out of 20, 10 can be synthesized by human body, whereas 10 could not be synthesized by human body. So, the one which are synthesized in human body, even though you do not get it from the diet, you will not have any problem because our body synthesizes 10 of the amino acids, whereas the other 10 body cannot synthesize, so they must be supplied from diet. If the diet does not contain these amino acids, human beings will have the deficiency of these 10 amino acids. So, they become essential, not only in case of amino acids, in case of fatty acids also. The components which could not be synthesized in human body will become essential. If it is fatty acids, it becomes essential fatty acid. If it is an amino acid, it becomes an essential amino acid. So, literally it means an essential amino acid is one that cannot be synthesized by body. So, the answer is T. Remember this, wherever you see this essential word, it indicates which could not be synthesized by human body. Now, you need to learn what are these 10 amino acids that are essentially required from the diet. See, these essential acid, so this is the list of essential amino acids. Phenylalanine, valine, methionine, arginine, lysine, threonine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, tryptophan. So, these 10 are essential amino acids. See, in order to memorize them, I have written in this order. There is a mnemonic. You can see PVMALT, MALT, HILT, HILT. So, you can remember like PV, MALT, HILT. So, this is the mnemonic to remember essential amino acids. Now, again, in this essential amino acid list, some of the others will consider Arginine is non-essential because arginine can be synthesized in human body. But the problem is arginine is utilized in urea cycle. So, whatever is synthesized is mostly consumed in urea cycle. So, human being, human body do not have enough amount of arginine. So, it is sometimes called as conditionally essential. That means in young children when their body metabolic rate is very high, the arginine which is synthesized in human body is not enough. So, they need arginine also from diet. So, hence it is known as conditionally essential. But majority of the books will consider it as an essential amino acid, but understand the logic. So, these 10 are essential amino acids. The rest of the 10 are non-essential amino acids. So, remember this mnemonic. Moving to the next one. See, on the same year, in 2020, on the same concept, there is another question. Which of the following amino acid is not necessary to be taken in the diet? See, this is in, in a way, it is asking which of the following is non-essential amino acid. So, what is the question asked? Not necessary to be taken in diet means it is synthesized in human body. So, the amino acid which is synthesized in human body is known as non-essential amino acid. If you see them in PV malt hilt, in hilt H is there, PV malt MALT, T is there, L lysine is there. So, serine is not there. So, the serine is synthesized in human body. So, it is non-essential amino acid. In another way, it is not necessary to be taken in diet because human body can synthesize it. See, on the same concept, two different kinds of questions were asked. Moving to the next one. Now, which amino acid gives maximum UV absorption? This is an interesting question. It is a question related to analysis and amino acids. Now, let us understand this. Now, UV, ultraviolet absorption. So, when a molecule has got conjugated double bonds, conjugated double bonds, it will absorb, it will have UV absorption, ultraviolet light can be absorbed. What do you mean by conjugated double bond? Look at benzene. Benzene has got conjugated double bond. 
a double bond followed by a single bond and then a double bond followed by a single bond and then double bond followed by a single bond this pattern is called as conjugated double bonds so when a molecule has got more amount of conjugated double bonds or more resonance structures the absorption will occur in uv region first point second one when conjugation is increased absorption occurs at higher wavelengths see from 230 it is increasing the wavelength number if more conjugation is there the absorption occurs at higher wavelengths similarly if more resonance structures are there absorbance increases look at the peaks the absorbance increases so the question asks which one has got maximum uv absorption now let us see what all things are asked proline if you remember proline see for all the 20 amino acids learning structure is always useful please learn 20 amino acid structures now proline structure is this one in fact it is not an amino acid it is considered as amino acid it is uh, see the uh, nitrogen amine group is in a ring form so it is considered as amino acid now proline uh, hydrogen will be there okay so the proline do not have any conjugated bonds it does not contain double bond so it will not at all absorb uv radiation so this one is ruled out now let us see about remaining things phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan let us see one by one see phenylalanine alanine is an amino acid is there to which a phenyl group is attached hence it is known as phenylalanine so ch3 ch nh2 cooh is alanine to which if you attach a phenyl group it becomes phenylalanine so learning amino acids is also easier one this part is phenyl ring this part is alanine when you combine them you will get phenylalanine now look at them you have a benzene ring is there as i told you when you have this aromatic ring conjugation will be there when conjugation is there absorption occurs look at this this is the absorption spectra of phenyl alanine so it has got very low absorption because it has got only one ring is there one uh, aromatic ring is there hence the absorption is like this so phenyl alanine will show uv absorption but it is not maximum now getting to the next one tyrosine now look at them again as i told you learning amino acid structure when you follow in a systematic manner is very easy now when you know alanine structure you attach a phenyl group you will get phenyl alanine in phenyl alanine if you attach a 4 hydroxy group it becomes tyrosine now tyrosine the hydrogen oxygen has got hydroxy group oxygen has got lone pair of electrons these electrons will participate in resonance structures the moment resonance is there look at this this is the curve of phenyl alanine uh, i'm sorry tyrosine one now tyrosine there is an increased absorption is there and uh, the wavelength is also at higher nanometers because the resonance increases absorption as well as wavelength number so compared to phenyl alanine tyrosine has got maximum uv absorption now the next one is tryptophan now when you see the structure of tryptophan tryptophan has got indole ring look at this it has got an indole ring this is indole ring and then you have this side chain is there ch and h2 cooh see all of them has got alanine as a side chain if you have phenyl group it is phenyl alanine if it if you have four hydroxy phenyl group it is tyrosine if you have indole ring it is tryptophan now look at them now tryptophan has got this entire indole ring and this entire indole ring the resonance structures are more i'll show you the example when you now see in indole ring these are what the resonance structures are see in indole the nitrogen has got lone pairs which can be donated to the ring and it will form these four structures are possible so it can form this electrons here electron movement occurs and it the electrons will be revolving all over the ring these are called as resonance structures so the moment resonance is increased absorption increases because of that look at this look at this peak it has gone to the maximum the absorption is increased this is what is uv absorption maximum so understand the concept you in order to get uv absorption you need conjugation if the conjugation resonance structures are more absorption will be more so which one will have maximum uv absorption tryptophan so this is a very good concept understand this one moving to the next one now one letter symbol of arginine is see arginine uh, look at this thing see all amino acids are provided with a three letter code and a single letter code when biotechnology has improved the systems started taking the amino acids and there is a requirement for recognizing amino acids with a single letter code 
again the single letter codes are given with a particular logic let us understand them see all these are amino acids let us understand them see first letter unique certain amino acids has got a unique name like cysteine the first alphabet is c with c no other amino acid is there so the c is given for cysteine similarly histidine with h no other amino acid is there isoleucine with i no other amino acid with m methionine no other amino acid is there serine valine all these alphabets no other amino acids are there so it is given for these particular amino acids now the next pattern most common understand this one see alanine <coughs> excuse me with alphabet a you have arginine is there alanine is there but in human body the alanine is most commonly found so a is given to alanine similarly with g you have glutamine is there glycine is there but glycine is most common hence g is given to that leucine lysine both starts with l but leucine is most common proline phenylalanine proline is most common tryptophan tyrosine t tryptophan is most common so most common one are given like this now some of the amino acids the one letter alphabet is given with phonetic sound see arginine r is given to arginine phenylalanine even though it starts with p it sounds as phenyl f tyrosine y is there tryptophan w is there so all these are given according to phonetic sounds now the next one suggested by names is like aspartic d is there aspartame n is given glutamate e is given glutamine q is given so all of them has got a particular pattern pattern and only the left over one is lysine lysine when you see the alphabet alphabetic k l lysine the closest alphabet is k hence it is given as k so this is how the pattern is given take a screenshot of this uh, slide so that you will remember all of them now see arginine as just now we have seen it is given phonetically sound one r is the one letter code on for arginine this is the entire list of all amino acids with their one letter code on codes now now again the similar kind of concept is just a single letter code for pyrolysinase see pyrolysinase structure is this one this is not found in human beings it is only found in bacteria in fact see human beings has got 20 amino acids but there is one 21st and 22 amino acids are also there 21st amino acid is known as selenocysteine selenocysteine which is found in many enzymes 22nd one is pyrolysin which is only found in bacteria and it has given code the single letter code is o moving to the next one now glycine proline are the most abundant amino acids in the structure of now see all of them are protein hemoglobin myoglobin insulin collagen now collagen is the major protein which is found in human body the entire proteins one third of the proteins belongs to collagen collagen is present in skin tendon ligaments and muscles everywhere you have collagen presence are there now collagen has got, in the structure it has got alpha helices and the alpha helices are these things they follow a particular pattern they will have glycine hydroxyproline proline alanine hydroxyproline proline and all these amino acids will repeat periodically you can see this one is glycine you have glycine here you have glycine here you have glycine here glycine glycine is present similarly proline is present proline is present proline is present so glycine proline are the most abundant in collagen so the answer is collagen remember this thing the most abundant protein is collagen in that abundant protein the most abundant amino acids are glycine and proline the least abundant amino acid in human protein is cysteine cysteine is the least abundant one going to the next one now which of the following amino acids cannot provide a substrate for gluconeogenesis now understand this word gluconeogenesis genesis means to synthesize what to synthesize gluco that means glucose can be synthesized from neo means non carbohydrate carbon carbons non carbohydrate neo means new now in this word gluconeogenesis means synthesizing glucose from non carbohydrate carbons is known as gluconeogenesis lactate pyruvate can be converted back to glucose but here the question is about amino acids now most of the amino acids will will be converted to citric acid intermediates and they will get converted back to glucose now, there is a big list is there see all these amino acids can be converted to pyruvate these amino acids can be converted to alpha ketoglutarate whereas these amino acids can be converted to succinyl coa and these 
can be converted to fumarate and oxaloacetate. Now look at them, alpha ketoglutarate, oxaloacetate, fumarate, succinyl choline, all of them are citric acid intermediates. What happens is all of them will get converted to oxaloacetate, oxaloacetate can be converted to phenyl enolpyruvate, I am sorry, phosphoenol pyruvate and this can get back to glucose. So, all these amino acids are con considered as glucogenic amino acids because they can get converted to glucose or not, they are nothing but gluconeogenic amino acids. But of the 20 common amino acids, only leucine and lysine are unable to furnish carbon for glucose synthesis. So, this is what is the question about. What is this question asked? Amino acids that cannot provide a substrate for glucose genesis means leucine and lysine and here it is given as leucine rest of all can be converted to glucose, this, hence they are known as glucogenic amino acids. So, these are all the questions which are asked in IPA 2020 biochemistry paper and amino acid concepts are this one. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, video, if you like the video do subscribe, thank you.